I don't even know how to start off this video, but I'm excited to get... I haven't done a what's in my bag video in over a year, and it's not my type of thing because I'm not like a bag girl, even though it's so handy. <laughs> No pun intended. I usually just carry around my phone and my phone has my cards in it and that's all I need. Even though there are plenty of things that I would love to bring along with me. The reason why I think these videos are so important is because when it comes to designer handbags and high-end handbags just in general, a lot of us think of leather. That's high-end. We want that. It's quality. But in reality, that's someone else's skin. That someone was an innocent, defenseless animal who wanted to live, who can't live because they're turned into an inanimate object, aka a handbag. Bag. That's why I think it's important for people to make these videos including high-end designer vegan handbags It's good to show people you can still be luxurious and have your high-end designer nice things But without causing harm and death upon others. I had recently got my hands there's hair. I recently got my hands on the Eloise satchel from Angela Roy. I love it because it's structured and it's not super big. I usually go for bigger handbags when I do go for handbags. I like going for the bigger ones because I can put my laptop on it. <laughs> I can put my laptop on it and a bunch of different things and jars, which I know sounds so weird, but I like to be as zero waste as possible. So it's nice to have that on the go if I'm gonna go somewhere and there's like plastic cups, instead I can put my jar in it. But surprisingly for me, I found this bag to be very, very practical because not all of the time I do want to carry around my laptop. Not all of the time I want to carry around jars. I put this chain on the bag. I like the look of it and I like that it's not so structured. I'm obsessed with HRH collection. I don't I don't know if you guys know who I'm talking about. I love her so much. She puts bags on her bags on her chain. She puts chains on her bags instead of the normal straps. I hate how the normal straps like flow. I just feel like they're too structured. This bag came with this long adjustable strap, which is great. I don't like how it's like structured. Like when it lays down, it's just like this long thing. And it's like so uniform and then it came with the shorter one which I love and I try to put along with the chain I just felt like it would be too much It looks just kind of weird because then you have the chain and this but this is great with the longer strap and I just love how it just Just does that. I got this chain off of Amazon for only $8.99 Prime. Alex's HRH chains, even though they're like $60, but they're so wide and so thick, and I feel like this one is too dainty and feminine for the look that I want. It's like jewelry tra train Shane, Shane Dawson. <gasps> Shane! Train! Trisha and Shane! Anyway, and Drew. <laughs> I feel like this is too much like jewelry chain. I want to say train so bad. I feel like this is too much like something that you would put around your neck. You know what I mean? Oh my god, that would be everything. I should make chain chokers. But like I want something massive so that when it's around my arm, it's not so, like it looks too tiny. And then it makes like my upper body look bigger than it already is. I just feel like my chest is already like puffed up because of my rib cage, not because of my boobs, but because of my rib cage, I feel like a puffed up chicken. And also I couldn't find a chain to match this gold, which I love because it's not too yellow of a gold and it's not too shiny either it's more matte like I said this bag is structured so there's two very very structured compartments inside and it opens up like this and there is a pouch right in front and in that pouch I just have headphones because I hate talking on the phone when it's just up to my ear I love the look of it especially with my case I refuse to touch my phone to my face even if I'm not wearing makeup because if I'm wearing makeup obviously I don't want it to like smear all over my phone that's so gross and if I'm not wearing makeup I'm wearing moisturizer and I hate when I hang up the phone and the screen is black or even if it's not black I can see it especially if it's in the Sun I can see all the residue from my face on my phone screen and it is the grossest thing ever Plus, I don't want to touch that on my face my little kindergarten fingers touch it and it's just nasty I like to use these to talk on the phone or to listen to podcasts it's just easier and plus they can hear me better I don't like to touch my phone to my face so I keep it like far away it makes it harder to hear especially with the case so I love these headphones for that and podcasts and then I have a necklace in here as well because this is one of my favorite chokers that I wear all the time I don't know where I got it I think I think I found this in my garage it's not supposed to be a choker I think it's supposed to go to this length unless a few pieces I broke off I think a few pieces actually broke off it's supposed to go to this length it's not like around my neck choking me like a choker is supposed to do and the last thing in the compartment is the converter 
Is that what it's called for? My phone. Just so annoying. I hate it. I love simplicity. Like, I get it. I love the fact that there's only one port. That's nice. But the thing is, is that that means I have to carry this thing around, which easily gets lost. And it's annoying because I can't charge my phone at the same time of playing music in the car. But it works, and I can't charge my phone while listening to a podcast or talking on the phone when my phone is about to die. You can easily fit an iPhone Plus, whatever plus it is, in this pouch unless you have a big 3D phone case like me. Oh my god, there's a pouch right here. <gasps> there's another one that I did not realize until now. In this next pouch that is extremely structured, like it's insane. So you would never lose your stuff. I mean, it's a small bag just in general, but you would never lose your stuff. Everything would say super organized. There's so many structured compartments to this bag. There's a really, really tight pocket on the other side of this more loose pocket. And I have nothing in there because I had no idea it existed until now. I have a power adapter, of course, my charger is charging my phone right now, but I usually have my charger in here. Gotta charge my phone when I'm not talking on the phone or listening to a podcast because I can't do it at the same time. I also have this black comb and smooth out the top. My hair is so soft. Oh my god, it's like petting a really, really soft dog. I like having this on the go because I get really, really fussy about my hair and it makes me really, really insecure, especially since my face is so big. I just feel like my hair needs to be shaped properly in order to frame my face even though I wear my hair in ponytails all the time And then I'm not bothered. That's one of the reasons why I wore my hair in ponytails all the time when it's shaped weirdly around my face It makes my face look even odder 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 pb and j otter Otter <laughs> I have my bottle of L-Lysine. It's not like a supplement. It's not something that I need to take or anything like that. I was watching Organic Olivia's video here on YouTube. I struggle with acne and I understand the cause to my acne when it comes to like breakouts that are like actual zits. Overconsumption of overt fats. Some people are different and they can get away with consuming a lot of fats. Even though refined fats are not good for you, just like any refined food is not good for you. But I also have skin texture issues. Really really bad, especially on my forehead. It's so frustrating. I don't know if this is working But either way, I know that it's good for my skin and tissue and collagen I know a lot of like collagen sources aren't even vegan. So this is a good alternative to that I don't know if it's helping my acne. I know it helps a lot of other people's acne It apparently is acne's worst enemy. <laughs> it's not doing anything for me, but it has helped a lot of people So we'll see I'm gonna use up that bottle and then I'm gonna try something else eyebrow gel from elf Which I love it's eyebrow and eyelash, but it's the exact same formula. At least I think it is. This is the best eyebrow gel that I've ever tried. It's only like two dollars and it actually works. I used an eyebrow gel from Pacifica and it was terrible. It didn't stick. Like it was just basically like water in a way. It wasn't like a watery formula or anything like that. It was gel, but it didn't actually work. And I want it to work because I want it to stick up. I want my brows to stay where I want them to stay. This is a lot more affordable and it works so much better. And it's kind of like a two in one deal. Of course, I have to have some lip balm in my bag as well. The last thing that I have in this compartment, Gemmed Luminizer Highlighter from 100% Pure in the color Rose Gold. Now, this is not very pigmented. Like, you really have to. I love 100% Pure's products, but you really, really have to push down and put a lot of pressure on it. I mean, at least for me. In order to pick up the amount that... I would want and maybe you would want as well but I like a lot of highlighter and usually I will put a cream on beforehand which is what I used to do and you guys would always ask me what I was using and then I stopped using that and then no one asked the cream highlighter that I was using it made it like really like blotchy but I really really like this one my new method is to spray my face with like a toner so for example if I just sprayed this side of my face then I would highlight this side of my face because it was a little damp and the highlight would be more pigmented and more dramatic. Once I got this product, I didn't really like it because I was like, this is just too, like it's too much like a bronzer. Like you can tell the color is like more on the tan side rather than the white side. And I really like white highlighters because I feel like they do the job better. But I started using this recently and I'm loving it. In this last structured big compartment, I have my phone case, which is not on my phone right now. I just wanted to like show an example of what my phone would be like in the bag. Ew, I got 
got makeup on here. Oh my god, I got makeup on the back. When my phone is dressed and has its case on, which is all the time because I also keep my cards in the case as well. My cards that are supposed to be in my phone case. I also have this toner, which is a super moisture hydration mist. It's from Herbal Transdermal, which I got in, I think it was, it was December's Beauty Box from Vegan Cuts and I got a mask from them and then I loved it so much. So I got some more of their products and I love the fact that this is a moisturizing toner, which I've always looked for. Last thing in this structured compartment are my sunnies, which are just cheap ones off of eBay and I love them so much. They're huge. Ew, it's all, oh my God. That's the thing about wearing sunnies when you have makeup on. I have several pairs of Wild Fox sunglasses. They are so heavy. They give me a headache when I wear them. They just like wanna fall off my face. They're not snug. And it's weird because I have very wide bone structure and they still wanna fall off my face. I've just found that these cheap ones, they don't fall off my face. They're so much more snug. In the last compartment to this bag, which is zippered, so it keeps everything safe, is some money and a hair tie. I always have to have a black hair tie. Don't you hate when hair ties lose their resistance? They can get tight, like you can tie them a lot and they're tight, but without that resistance, it doesn't hold your hair. And that's everything <laughs> that was in my bag. So let me know what you think about this video. Let me know what you think about what I carry in my bag. Is it ridiculous? Let me know in the comments because I wanna hear from you. And also let me know what bag you have. Even if it's not vegan, let me know. There needs to be a vegan version of it. There's nothing wrong with the look of the bag. Problem is, it's the fact that it takes away the lives and freedom away from other takes away the lives and freedom. I already said it away. It sadly takes the lives and freedom away from others who wanted to live, and those others are cows and dogs and goats. Just really, really sad in the leather industry, and there's nothing wrong with you liking a bag because, yeah, there's a lot of bags that are everything and they're so pretty like i love alexander wang but the use of leather is so messed up and i'm not going to support that not only are the animals victims of the leather industry humans are also victims of the leather industry and they're getting polluted and there's people as young as 10 years old working in tanneries which is where they make the leather and stuff like that and there's a lot of chemicals that go into their rivers that's connected to their drinking water and it's really really sad and it's not something you want to support even if you may not care about animals what about fellow humans of our own species. It's just sad. So let me know in the comments because I want to hear from you when it comes to the leather industry and also your bag and about the things that I'm carrying in my bag. Cause now I want to talk. Cause then this is like a pointless video. If I just like showed you guys, well, maybe it was like inspiration and you're like, oh, I need to get myself like a vegan handbag. I need to like step up my game as an ethical person. Cause you're a good person and you want to support good things. So support good things and do good. Cause you are. And I promise I'll be there for you. You know that I also everything that I showed in this video will be linked in the description box, including the L I scene if you're curious and Organic Olivia's video and this Eloise satchel handbag. So if you're curious and you want to get them for yourself or for someone else, or you just wanna look at them because it's fun and it's like a little online museum, <laughs> everything will be in the description box.